Today, one of the things I gotta get done is this right here. We gotta get this done, get the timbers out back. The front area is malt. We gotta get all that done today. One spot left. I think one more scoop will do it. And then we've gotta move on to the front two trees to put mulch around those. This looks a lot better than it did before. Okay, so it took two scoops. Now I need to do around that tree and around this other one right here. I think I'm gonna make the spots a little bit bigger. I think it'll look better. I might put some like uh, different kind of flowers or something around those at the base. So here's the finished corner now that all of it's all done. It looks really good with the black all the way around. I need to get a weed eater now and trim up the front edge. Still got to paint the porch. And here's one of the trees. This looks really good too. I brought the mulch out quite a ways for the circle. And it's going to, I think we're going to plant some hostas in there. Four of them. And then they'll bush up around the bottom. Which will be really nice. We really like the hostas. They bloom over time. And they get really big. You don't have to do anything. They'll just take up their own space. You can take them and cut them after a while and then just replant the bulb. Here's our other tree. This one I had a really small circle around for a long time and I really made a bigger circle around this. The original one was probably about half the size. So this is a much bigger circle. I'm gonna to try to keep everything compact up around it. We're gonna do the hostas around this one as well. So we ended up also adding in this like little fairy garden type of thing and the solar lights so at nighttime these will glow. And we've got our fake mushroom over there. Can't remember, we've had that one for a while now. It's got a concrete base and these are concrete right here and then there's wooden branches underneath that just connect the two pieces. So that's pretty cool. I like how this all turned out with the trees and all around the flower bed. So now we got to work on the porch getting that all done. Um, I hope it really looks nice and puts everything all together. First thing though that I got to pressure wash the house. So where do you guys think we're going? You thought we were going to the Dollar Tree? <laughs> but we did that. Was that your surprise? No, no. Okay, so we are going to be going somewhere to play. We're going to get something. Any ideas what we're going to get? Ghosts. Ghosts. Oh, ghosts. <laughs> 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 Here. Any last guesses on what this is that we're going to pick up? A house? No. So, girls, what did we get? Oh, kayak. How many? Two. Hey, each of you guys can go out on the lake with us now. I like this one though. I want this one. One with a GoPro holder. That's pretty cool. You can get one with it. I said you could get this one. They shafted the guys so they don't have any. I need the panel board though. We're back. We got some life jackets and here are the kayaks. They're a little scratched up, but that's okay. They're just going to get used by the kids in the lakes and it's not going to be a problem at all. They fit really good for the kids and being the open top where they can just sit in there, it's a lot safer because they don't have to worry about rolling over and not being able to get out of the kayak. They roll over, they can just fall out. So this was a uh, pretty good deal for us. We are gonna be able to take the kids on kayak adventures with us now. One thing here in the shop that I don't have that I'm sure that you guys can all agree on that I need is a saw sharpening vise. I don't have one. I've made a prototype out of two by four. Just kind of see how it looks, see what it's gonna end up being like. But everything with that two by four is a lot bigger than I want it to be. I want it to be smaller like three quarter inch type of material. So after uh, cutting up that one board from yesterday's vlog with the handsaw, I'm gonna go ahead and use that because it's got a really, really bad cup to it. So I think I can get enough material off of that one to go ahead and make this saw bite. 
So obviously the first thing with this is that I got to get two sections at least ripped down to three and a half inches. I'm just going to use my speed square and I'm going to go to the four inch mark just because I haven't planed any of the sides at all and I don't know if they're straight. So we're going to get them at least somewhat close to the correct length and then I can come back later. So now I need to go ahead and rip it down. I have gotten rid of my table saw. So the only thing I have is to push myself and actually use the rip saw. This is exactly the reason why I wanted to get rid of my table saw, is to push myself in it more into the hand tools. So my saw choice on this is going to be the invincible saw that I restored a while ago. We're going to see how well this one cuts. And obviously after I get this saw vice done, I'll be able to sharpen all these with no problem. <laughs> off with the invincible saw and I don't think there was enough set on those teeth the blade kept getting pinched shut so I switched over to the Distin D8 saw and that did really good but I can tell it's a little dull so I'm switching over to this Distin uh, D7 this one's a five and a half inch tooth we gonna see how well this one does this is a great opportunity to start switching out hand saws seeing what how they perform which ones do better and which types of wood Let's go. Wow, so that one cut right through with absolutely no problem. It handled really, really well. Left an extremely, extremely rough edge. But this got the job done a lot quicker. Now it's time to join both sides, get the pieces flattened. And just working as much material as I can to make it all the rough stuff disappear, and then I come back with a bigger plane to really get it finished up smooth and nature flat. So I'm just going to mark off three quarters. Really thick right here on the edge still, on the back side. So I've met my three quarter inch mark on this corner and on this side, but you can see that right here in the middle, if I put a something level there, I still got a bump right here that I need to get rid of. But I'll be able to do that whenever I get a bigger, wider plane to smooth this all out. This board right here is going to end up being the part to clamp the saw and I want to keep it as thick as possible but if I have to go smaller than three quarters it's gonna be okay by me I don't mind it being less than three quarters but I'm gonna to have to take off quite a bit of material to not only get the cup out of it but also get this slight bow out of it This is going to be cut in half and this is going to be the two vertical pieces to hold the top of the saw vise. This right here I'm going to try to make about three inches wide with a slight bevel to it and this will be the clamping portion. These will get interlocked by using a half lap joint. We're almost there, boards are flat, just need to work on some final cleanup on these and then tomorrow I will be actually cutting these apart getting the shape down for the hold the clamping part and then hopefully joining them together then we can sharpen some saws 